Let me ask you, how's your timeline going? You know, some of my favorite movies are like Back to the Future, where people are able to travel back in time and meet their past selves, or there's other movies where there's like alternate timelines, like in Star Trek, or where there's like, what is it, Time Amok, or I, I just finished watching uh, a show on Netflix, Man in the High Castle, where the premise of the movie is that uh, the Allies don't win World War II, or movies like The Final Countdown, where you've got like F-14 Tomcats at Pearl Harbor. I, I love movies like this because it, they, they demonstrate and they help us think about what might happen if just one thing in history had changed. Of course, it's all fiction and it's all, you know, make-believe, but it helps me think sometimes about my own personal history and my own personal career history and to think, well, what if I'd done that differently? Or what if I'd done that differently? Or what if there's something I'd done differently that I didn't even realize had made such a huge difference? So let me ask you, how's your timeline going? You know, I think part of this phenomenon relates to the idea that people will send themselves messages in the future. There's even services like the website futureme.org where you can write a message to yourself and it'll be delayed delivery by a couple of years and all of a sudden you get a message. Or sometimes I, I know, you know people will write just, just paper messages to their future selves. Or this is the, also the idea behind like time vaults where people will bury a bunch of stuff for future generations to see stuff that may have been forgotten. Not necessarily a message to themselves, but a message to the future. Have you ever wondered what might happen if you could give advice to yourself from the past, especially career advice? What would you say? You know, last week I was thinking a lot about resolutions and as we approach the new year as I film this, a lot of people are thinking about time and resolutions. And I'm just wondering if you could give advice to yourself from say 10 years ago, what would you say? Would you give career advice or would you say, you should definitely invest in this or would you say, don't take that job, whatever you do. You know, they say that hindsight is 2020 and it really is. So my question is, and what I've been thinking about, is there any way you could get some of that 2020 vision today? After all, the year we're approaching is 2020. So something to think about. So of course, as much as we would love to give advice from ourselves from 10 years ago, there's really no good way to do it. But here's something to think about. Yourself 10 years from now, the, the person that's, go, that's you, you in 2029, they're desperately trying to talk to you now. They would love to talk to you. So how can you help them? Are you listening? Are you listening for what yourself in 2029 might be trying to tell you? Because if you do, they might have some really valuable advice that you'll wish that you'd known now in 2029. Of course, nobody has a crystal ball and nobody can know exactly what the future will hold for you. But I gotta be honest with you, nobody knows you better than you and nobody knows what you're hoping to achieve in the next 10 years better than you. So there's probably nobody right now in this time who's better equipped to listen to yourself from 10 years from now who can make some probably some really good educated guesses about what the person you're going to be 10 years from now is going to be asking you to do. You know, we do favors for our future selves all the time if you think about it. Every time you brush your teeth, you're doing a favor for your future self to not have rotten teeth. Every time you iron a shirt, that's a favor for your future self when you're gonna put that shirt on. Every time you make lunch in the morning, that's a favor to your lunchtime self. So could you do a favor for yourself from 10 years from now by listening and thinking about what is, this, what is me 10 years from now going to need? What are they gonna want? What are they gonna wish that they told me now? And how can I follow up on that? How can I think ahead and get some of those things done that my future self is wanting me to do that's good for both of us? So I just challenge you 
to think this way. You know, most people are gonna hit the new year and they're gonna be like, well, there's another year. And they're not gonna think this strategically, but you should for your career and life and otherwise. If you can listen to what your future self is trying to tell you, they'll be so grateful and you will too. And I really do think it'll help both you and them win at work both now and in the future.